We're out here at this world-class thermal hydrolysis processing facility at Oakland County at the Water Resource Commissioner's Office plant. And behind me is the digestion facility of which that's a part. And we're looking at adding a pilot project that will utilize CBCI bacteria to break down the material even further, create more biogas that could be co-generated into electricity. CBCI, it is a bacteria that was discovered about 30 years ago in hot springs in Russia. And it was isolated and it has been used in research ever since. CBCI has the ability to break down materials that other bacteria normally do not. The um, work that's been done with CBCI has been on a laboratory scale basis to date. It's not been done on biosolids. What we're doing is we're taking it to the next step up, which is a pilot scale facility in a eight by 40 trailer that would house tankage and pumps and piping, all in stainless steel type of structure, similar to what you might see in a in an industrial kitchen or something of that nature to process the sludge and demonstrate this process. So the class B process of anaerobic digestion here at Oakland County is being turned into a class A process because of thermal hydrolysis. So the class A biosolids that is created here can be used on land application, it can be used in all sorts of agricultural and horticultural uses because it is a class A material according to the US EPA and according to Michigan DQ. Ultimately, part of the work that will come from this pilot study will be to develop proper sizing criteria for a cogeneration facility that would generate power from that biogas. Right now that biogas is not being utilized. Part of this project is to show how can that be utilized in conjunction with this process and, and to size that equipment. So the benefit would be to generate power and to save electrical cost for this utility. Biosolids is a wonderful resource when it's processed properly to help gardens, to improve landscaping, to improve poor soils. So the, the utility of it across the country is fantastic. That's what's exciting to see the end product and see what value it brings to farmers, to landscapers, to public utility departments, you name it. We believe if successful, this allows the Water Resource Commission to be a leader nationally in implementing this technology that could be a game changer in our industry.